The speed of light is today the measure of countless industrial processes. Machining materials with lasers is becoming ever more efficient and precise. Ultra-short pulse lasers are more in demand than ever. Continuous lasers have reached a peak value as far as market penetration is concerned. With the ultra-short pulse lasers, we're seeing a sort of ramp-up phase where the market is growing very strongly, where there are very good prospects of ultra-short pulse lasers establishing themselves and creating new possibilities, also with high efficiency. In medicine, environmental and climate research, and in industrial macro-material processing, performance improvements are pushing USB lasers to a new level. They're the key to entirely new ranges of application. The foundation stone here was laid by Gérard Mourou with his research. There is a lot of possible applications you know, for industry, for society, and for instance, I'm thinking about, of course, uh, cancer therapy, like proton therapy, transmutations of nuclear waste, also uh, cleaning the sky of space debris. So, I mean, these are just two examples of very large applications, important applications for the survival of our society. A major focus at the laser world of photonics, which services can ultra-short pulse lasers reach in the future? The Fraunhofer Cluster of Excellence Advanced Photon Sources is presenting a non-linear multi-pass cell. Up to now we've demonstrated the process to a power of up to around 500 watts and in a very flexible pulse energy range from a few microjoules to the millijoule range and we're not seeing any fundamental limitations in the power scaling. We're working on further scaling down to the kilowatt and multi-kilowatt range. The module marks the first step towards a vision of medium power in the 10 kilowatt range. In the future, the plan is also to process large areas. ScanLab is using the ultra-short pulse laser three-dimensionally for the very first time. Corrugated and other objects can be processed better with the 3D laser heads. In the new applications, the company has also cleared one very important hurdle. Precision is the, is the highest requirement that we have to meet when we make, make something like that, then we have to make sure that we uh, ar arrive at a, a accuracy better than five micrometer positioning accuracy, and that requires a very skilled production and uh, development of the systems. EdgeWave is presenting what are currently the most powerful ultra-short pulse laser systems for use in industrial manufacturing. For the production of pressure rollers, EdgeWave has further developed its PX and FX series. What's new for us is that we're scaling powers up to 500 watts and average power pulse energy up to 3 millijoules. In addition, there are the beam shapes Gaussian beam, top hat and square beam. And that, in combination, is new. Toptica is giving medicine and research entirely new possibilities. Their Femto Fiber Ultra 920 is small and compact, with a passive cold laser head. It's easy to integrate into existing structures and has excellent optical properties. It has an output power of 1.5 watts at a wavelength of 920 nanometers and a very short pulse duration of 100 femtoseconds. The laser a massless and contactless tool. At the laser world of photonics, you can experience tomorrow's speed of light today.